Hi everyone, it's Gail and I'm here with the Roxy's Weekly Challenge uh, for I think week 28. I feel like we've been on week 28 for like three weeks. <laughs> But I, I, it's just me, I think. But anyway, um, this one is the little pockets with the checks. Um, I'm going to say hi and hugs first, and we will jump in. Hi and hugs to Lynn, Heather, Kath, and Sharon. Thank you so much for watching and for your nice comments. Okay, so Rachel had some um, antique checks, you know, from over in Italy. I have some old checks, 1926, 1937, 1947. These um, are from, well, I have a couple of ephemera kits on my shop. And I think these are from maybe kit one. I don't know. But I love them. And then I also have, I have this um, envelope that I thought I might use. Love this. And then I have this um, International Business School. It's like a, I don't know what it is exactly. Part of a, I don't know. Anyway, I think I'm going to use a few of these. So I know I want to use this one. I want to use this one. This is heavier paper, so I think I'll use this one rather than this one. And then maybe one more. I really like this one too. It's a little lighter. Maybe we'll use this one, a little skinny one. Okay, so Rachel did four, but we'll have these um, close at hand in case we have more we can do. Okay, so these are all digitals, so there's nothing on the back, right? So I'm going to kind of go a little rogue here and do a little decorating so something shows through the vellum that's the other thing we need and i have plain vellum and i grabbed this that i recently got um some printed vellum because i thought that'd be kind of cool on some so we'll just pl have ourselves play and see how we do so i think she bent them over i have a brand new vintage photo how much do we love a brand new vintage photo? <laughs> oh, look at that. Holy cow. I'm so used to using such a heavy hand. Now I'm going to have to gonna back off a little bit, aren't I? Oh, there goes my laundry dinging at me. Oh my gosh. Seriously, it's like, <laughs> it's like night and day from my old vintage photo. Okay, well, the, the inking's going to go quick. Because... Um, as, as you know, if you've been hanging out with me, I, I like things inked and, um, and Rachel doesn't and her stuff always looks great. I, I just, I just can't do it. Um, okay. So there's that one. Maybe we'll just, we'll just do these kind of like this and just, I don't, I don't know. And I have to, um, I have to tell you that I did, I watched this video. Do I want a little more than that? I think I do. I'm going to go a little lower. I watched this video a while ago, and so I'm not sure I'm going to be doing it right, I guess, is why I tell you that. <laughs> if I completely go rogue you'll know it's like oh gail you should have should have rewatched that but i'm too behind because of my because of my vacation so gotta get caught up here oh my gosh i just can't believe how much this inks so great i also finally found some inkers too so re-inkers you know okay so Kind of like that little, I'm just going to put a little on that and make that kind of a little bit of a feature, that little wrinkle that I did. And this one, I think it'd be real cool with this just kind of hanging down right here. So I'm real busy getting videos done again. Oh my gosh. 
life has just gotten so busy. So, um, let's see. I think this is filming for Friday, but it's actually Tuesday. I'm just back from my vacation, but tomorrow we have to take Addie and her friend home from volleyball camp. And then my, her, her little sister just got her tonsils out and Addie has a game in another town on Saturday. So I'm going to go over Friday and stay with her, spend the night and everything. And so, yeah, so finding time to film is getting a little difficult. <laughs> So I guess these are kind of floating pockets because the backs are cool too, you know? Okay, I'm just going to go all the way around this. So anyway, um, yeah. Just kind of having, almost having trouble getting in the videos. So um, I'm just going to, I'm going to keep filming today. I have lots of, lots of projects to do. So today, and then it's Scrappy Saturday, and I have an idea for Scrappy Saturday, but it's going to be a little labor intensive, and I don't know if I'll get it done in an hour, but at least we'll get a good start, and I can show you what I'm thinking. Okay, I'm just going to push this one right about there, and then keep the lady on the back. That's my thought. Okay. Now, not that we're necessarily done with the inker, but we have a start. Okay. So, I think I want plain old vellum on like maybe on this one. Okay, so then I think she just measured and and cut. So I'm, I'm thinking like on this side, I'm gonna put some stuff too, but I just thought I'd get the pockets kind of ready for these and then I'll worry about that. Cause that's sort of in decorating mode. Okay, I'm just gonna put that with that. Um, this one, I might do just plain here too because really I want the check to be the focal point here. Okay. So I was dreaming about these crazy pockets last night. I was like, now. How'd she do these? <laughs> so, okay, there's that one for that. Um, I might just do, I might be able to use a piece of that leftover. Let's just see. And then there's kind of a bluish piece in this pattern one that I thought might be fun for, if I can find it quickly. Yep, it's right there. It's right kind of on top, if you will. Excuse me, I have it on my lap right now. Yeah, look at that. Oh, yeah, that'll be pretty with that. Okay, okay. Gonna need the bigger cutter. Gonna need the bigger cutter. Let's see here. What would we like? Kind of like this over here. Okay. I knew when I saw this vellum, and I, I shared it in an Etsy share, so if you guys kind of go back in my Etsy shares, because I don't remember right now where I got it, but I knew I was going to have use for it. I was like, ooh, I really liked the patterns, and I thought, yep, going to need that in my life. Going to need it. Okay, so here is that. Now... How tall, let's scooch these over for a second. How tall do we want the pocket? Probably, probably not much taller than that, I would say. I don't know that I got that very straight, or this envelope's not straight, one or the other. Okay, I'm just gonna cut that. Do I cut that there? No. 
because I think she tore it. So maybe right about there. I'm going to cut this. Sorry, I know I'm off camera. So I cut that little bit off and then she, cut, she tore it. But then that tear is going to be at the bottom. I don't even know how she did this. Okay, well, okay, I'm just going to tear this. This is directional, and so I think what she did is she tore it and flipped it, but this is directional, so I can't do that. So I'm just going to slice off that messiness at the bottom, and then I can do just a little tear across here maybe. cut my fingernails and I can't grab anything now. Okay, so that's going to go there. And this is going to go on top of it. And that's pretty cute. And then that will go down like that. So really I should have had this more up here, I think. But I could put lace or something across there. Okay, I think that one's kind of Kind of ready <laughs> in my shabby way that I'm doing this I'm sorry Rachel I'm not I'm not really not really doing this very well okay I want that to be up there maybe right about there I don't know but this regular vellum you can just kind of set like that. Okay, so those are like, I think I'm going to put one up higher and then move this one down. And that'll be fine. Okay, so that one's fine. Oof. It's rough when you don't know what you're doing, peeps. It's rough when you don't. <laughs> Just really winging it right now. Okay, that's going to be good right about there. And I'm going to need that other piece of vellum for this other one because I didn't have any leftovers. Okay, so that's more what Rachel was doing, I think, was two pockets like that put down here. And then, yeah, that's more what she was doing. Okay, where's that other one? We'll just... Give this a little cut. So yeah, and we have a couple more um, trips to Denver. One when grandchild number 11 is born, we're gonna go. And then, um, and then we're gonna go out, my grandson is, gonna be is gonna be in high school and he'll have he'll have his football and so we're gonna want to go watch that I don't know all of a sudden it just I mean it's like things have broken loose and it feels very busy but I also know there's wackiness with COVID going on so it's like everything you do you kind of have to do as tentative and that annoys the heck out of me <laughs> Okay, so now I want to do some stuff with this to kind of, um, I don't know, jazz it up a little. So I want my postage type stamp. Excuse me for a minute while I try and find some of those. Well, there's that. I want that. Hmm. Okay, hang on. You know, I need to label my drawers as well. There they are. I need to label my drawers. This one would be good too. Okay. So I might just do a little of this. 
and I brought, I grabbed my, um, my little booklet that has stamps in it, because I was thinking I might just, ooh, like, see, this is a good color stamp. See, I'm just going to put a couple things on that side just to give it a little more interest. Now, granted, if you put something in the pocket, you're going to see it or not. We don't know, but, you know. But uh, Rachel's old antique ones, they already, you could already, I mean, they already had stuff on them. But if you did her digitals, you weren't going to that anyway. And I don't want to use my originals of these, so that's kind of why I'm doing it this way. Um, and Rachel, I think, has digitals like my vintage digitals that I'm using, but I couldn't. I couldn't find them and I think I think it's in a kit that isn't called what I thought it should should be or would be or whatever so um, I never did find it is what I'm saying it's I think included in a different ephemera kit or something and so um, yeah ooh really helps to do vellum when you have a juicy pad. I really feel like I've gotten several, and I know you guys have said this too, um, of the distress inks that they've been dry when I bought them. Like, this is the juiciest one I've ever had, I think. So, maybe I was just getting old stock or something. Okay, we'll glue in all together with these, I think. Okay, well, I might as well just do this. And um, this one is that. What do I, or do I want anything in the background? I don't know. I just, I just might leave this one and decorate it you know, on the pockets and not worry about having anything underneath. Kind of do a couple of, of each style or whatever. Okay, so there's that one. Guess we'll just we'll just keep going. This one I think I'm gonna put something under. Oh yeah, I was gonna move one of these up. That was my plan on this. <laughs> These will be really cute to have, though. I'm excited. I think this might be the one that I keep in my idea book. I've been trying to, you know, on some of the um, Roxy weekly challenges that I really like, I've been trying to keep one for my idea book and then use the rest, you know, in upcoming journals or whatever. But, okay, this I think would look cool. And we're not doing anything with the back of this one, but I think this will look cool. Distressed too, yeah. Yeah, so anyway, more travel kind of on my agenda, just trying to help out. Mike and I are going to be splitting duties once again because my son is on Saturday is bringing my grandson to do his counseling job at a camp here and um, I need to go take care of my little my little Katie Bugs who got her tonsils out poor baby she's all out of surgery so that's all good but she's in pain it's no fun no fun those darn things okay I think we're to the point of well to the point of deciding what we want on these and then we're to the point of gluing is what I was going to say okay do I have another like perfectly colored stamp perchance <laughs> there's a brown one now mm -hmm. <laughs> this one's cool
And if you're in need of old stamps, Etsy is just a great, you know, great place to find them. That's kind of nice, but about this one. It's a little bit bent. <laughs> it's curled up. better color maybe both of them yeah let's just I'm just gonna put those on there I find that myself hoarding stamps which is just silly I just because I have a lot of them and like I say Etsy is an awesome uh, place to to find old stamps or you know stamps from other countries or whatever too I'm just going to plop it down. I'm not going to be careful because the post office would not have carefully placed, artistically placed the stamps. They just would have slapped them down. So that's what I did. Okay, and then I just think I might put maybe a couple of these on there somewhere or something. done that one's done so we just and I said I wasn't going to do anything so I think we're done with that awesome let's stamp you off a little bit put you back in and this is a Carabell Studio stamp this one is called my stamp number two and then um yeah so okay those up there. All right. Throw that over there. Okay, so now I think we're in gluing mode. Let me just get rid of this. So it's been a long time since I took care of a sick kid, so that should be it should be kind of interesting <laughs> this weekend, but I'm happy to happy to be able to help too, so that the parents don't miss any of the time that Addie's playing or anything. Okay, I'm gonna put that just above those stamps, kind of, and I'm gonna use art glitter glue. Works pretty well on vellum. I used it on some of my um, ephemera folios, and it, it's stayed pretty. It has stayed pretty stuck. Gotta spread it out a little bit. So yeah. So anyway, and because of Katie's surgery. My daughter can't come to pick up Addie and her friend at volleyball camp, so that's why we're taking them. So we're going to have two quick trips that way this week. But it's a nice thing about being close. At least we don't have to fly like I do when <laughs> the next grandbaby's born. Okay, so there's the two pockets on that one. Okay, let's do this one. So anyway, yeah. It's nice to be nice to be close. It'd be nicer if they stayed in town, doggone it. Three out of four of my kids about, I don't know what it's been now, eight years ago or something, they all moved away. Um, you know, all job related and totally understandable, but no less disappointing, <laughs> I guess is what you could say. So, yeah. Because, man, oh, man, if they were all in town, it'd be so fun. We could just, you know, pop over to whichever high school and watch their stuff. And that's that's how my parents were because um, we lived in the same town. They could just 
easily go to the games and stuff. And Mike says, yeah, that's because we were good kids. We didn't put our parents through taking grandkids away. Which I'm totally just teasing because obviously you got to do what you got to do to care for your family. But, um, but that was a traumatic year, <laughs> that year that they all moved away. We were like, oh my gosh, how are we going to make it without them? But we're okay. We're okay. I mean, honestly, I don't know if I'd be doing what I'm doing now with my crafting and videos and stuff. I bet I wouldn't because I would have been too busy, you know? with their stuff, which, you know, um, so yeah, that's good. Okay. So anyway, I guess things work out the way they're supposed to, don't they? Most of the time, maybe all the time, maybe it's just that we don't like the outcome sometimes. <laughs> So anyway, I'm I'm really hoping all this doggone COVID stuff. Oh, I wish it would, you know, everybody would just do what they need to do so that we could get it gone away. But we're still dealing with it. I've heard from many of you who are, who are back in lockdown, which just breaks my heart. Okay, so we did that. So now I think we're to decorating them which is super fun. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my bone folder and really squish those down because they're, but yeah, see the, the difference that makes? Okay. Okay, and one more. Okay. Okay, so something I gotta get a drink here and think about what we're gonna do to decorate. Mm hmm. Gonna get out some book page, and I'm thinking, um, actually, I might have a scrap that I could use. Just look because I kind of like to put something across that bottom. That's not bad, is it? I just I just want to kind of um, cover up where I ended up having that little seam. Oh man, gotta remember that I've got mega ink on here. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put that there. Oh, I'm kind of loving how grungy this is getting. Uh, and then I've got a bit of Italian book page. I, I don't really want to cover up what's under there. So just want a little sliver here like to put right here and I might I might put a little word there maybe and then I'm thinking of putting a tab on this one okay let's get some of this stuff I think the glue stick should stick to the vellum.
pulled part of it off. <laughs> oh goodness, my hands are sticky. Okay, so let's look and see what we have for tabs that we could put on there. Um, cigar thing, that's kind of neat. It's upside down, but do we care? in here for ooh ooh that's it well you know it when you see it don't you I like how it has a little bit of red to kind of accent that little bit of red such great projects Rachel each and every week you have just done a fabulous job on your challenge in my humble opinion. I have loved it anyways, and I think, I think there's others. And I'm feeling kind of happy that I have stuck with the I think I'm going to go right in the middle because that's where the break in the text is. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? I love that. And then tuck a couple things in there. Yep, that's as decorated as I'm going to do that one. That's cute. Okay. Um. Anyway, what was I saying? I don't remember. So we're going to decorate this pocket a little bit. Um. Maybe a little, a little old book page. Just not quite that much. Gosh, the air conditioner's on and I'm chilly, which is pretty awesome because I was so hot upstairs. Anyway, had to give up the Ann Brooke challenge, as you know, because of my wrist, which, as you can see, it's doing better. It's, But then again, I'm on the steroids right now for the other stuff I have going on, so I really think that helps my wrist, too. But anyway. Okay. So we did that blue. I wonder if I have like a blue flower or I think that's a little small that pocket for a bird, but I'm just going to see what I have here. What's this? It's way too big. That's what it is. <laughs> I thought I had I just look in my flowers here. Nope, they're kind of purpley blue, so not really working. Now, these are fairly short, so I wonder what I might have in here. These are chapter one papers, if I do recall, and I apparently do because that's what it says. My ankles are cold. <laughs> nope. Well, that's the best one yet, I think. What about it's going to be a bit too small, isn't it? Hmm. No, I think I like that. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Needs a little something else behind it, but we should be able to come up with something. You know, it might be kind of 
fun behind there. Do I have any doily in my scraps? Got a lot of scraps, but I don't see any doily scraps. Well, we'll make one. Excuse me, I had to reach over there and get some. Okay, 35, we're doing pretty good, I'd say. <sighs> okay, so I don't even, I don't even know what I want here, but just want another layer of something. I could have done lace, I suppose, or something. But that's kind of pretty. That right there. And I might put a little lace at the bottom. Oh, that's what I was going to do on this one, wasn't it? I was going to put lace on the bottom. Oh, well, I like this. It's much more rustic. I'm not sure that's going in my idea journal because it's too cute. Um, yeah, I've got some, got some lace here. A couple pieces that we could try. Okay, let's kind of get that a little bit more that let's see how we go in here we're going right about there I'm just gonna do it this way because kind of get less sticky I feel like okay all right and then and that's gonna go there but what do we want or a little bit of lace at the bottom. Do we want this? Ooh, that's very cute. I think that's what we want. I'm not even going to try the other one. How's that for just being decisive? Okay. And we'll kind of put this over the top of it. fun. I, I have to tell you, I did, I did miss crafting over, I mean, we were very busy, so I didn't think about it a whole lot, but while I was on vacation, I did miss crafting for sure. Missed you guys. So last night I had trouble sleeping because I was so excited to get down here and get busy. There we go. Now, I kind of feel like it needs something there, like I'm thinking perhaps a butterfly or something. Because that's kind of a big old blank spot. And I like the jiggy jaggy of the edge here, so I don't really want anything there. Uh, bur uh, butterflies, here we go. Butterflies, let's see. What we might have for there. Um, that's not too bad. I don't know. This one. No. That's a no. This is a maybe. I don't know why I'm kind of looking at I like that, but not... Kind of looking at these stickers. Hmm. <laughs> okay, well, let's see what else we have. Maybe that one. It kind of is a goofy proportion to the flower, but I don't know if I care about that. That's kind of pretty pulling in that color. Okay, gosh, you guys, I have goosebumps. I'm so cold. Let's see what this one looks like. Well, that's too dominant at the top. Um, So, 
okay, but no. I think I'm going to go with that one. In the interest of not taking all day <laughs> to pick out one butterfly, I have other things that I need to get decorated. Let's get his, get his antlers. I'm going to just throw that out there. And then any newbies will be like, what? <laughs> what are you talking about? Okay, let's put that there. Okay. Gosh, I got three quarters of a book read on my, on my trip. I want to get back to it. It's so good. Okay. I almost feel like I could use a little something there, like a word or something. Let's see. Oh, um, not that. What do I have up here? Oh, those are kind of cool. Yeah, too much. Okay, that is... Nothing in that one. That's not going to do us any good. <laughs> I've got a little jewel design. Yep, that's going right there. I need to print some more of her horizontal words because I've been concentrating on the ver uh, vertical ones and I'm getting a little low on these, I feel like. Okay, I think that'll just be kind of a fun little extra thing there and that fills that in nicely for me. Okay, so there's that one. I'll show them to you closer here when we get done. Okay, this one will be kind of fun because it's red. Love me some red. That's a good piece for right there out of the scrap bin. Look at us using our scraps. Yeah, I'm excited for Scrappy Saturday tomorrow. I think it's going to be a good one if I can pull together what, in the way that it's in my brain, what I want to do. Again, keeping me awake at night, thinking about it. Gosh. Okay. I think I would really like a red flower there if I have something that would would do that. Um, just try a few things. I mean, that's cute. That's kind of cute, but I need that's more pink okay sorry guys my stickers are going everywhere let's see oh that's cute too don't know if it's too big it might be too big yep it's too big but that kind of going sideways is nice it just needs something else is all so we're going to stick with that sticker. <laughs> we're sticking with it. We're sticking with it. Um, let's maybe look at a ticket or something. Okay, I've got that little, little green one there. Something 
not minding that ticket, but I need something else. Something across right there. Hmm. I kind of like that because you know there's a lady on the back. This is kind. Of, this would be a fun piece for you know some kind of lady journal. Not really a Victorian lady journal, but kind of. So I'm gonna put that right there. We'll just see, see how we do. Thing about it is when you're doing something like this, if you, you know, you can always keep layering, that's the thing. Okay, I'm just gonna use this because I have the lace down. away with that okay and hmm I wonder if that's gonna stick down I think it probably will I might have to poke some glue underneath I'm sorry if I'm mumbling I'm I'm truly I'm not qu quite back to my normal self in terms of video videoing I don't think yeah, just a little bit of that's going to be on the lace, so I think it'll be okay. Something like that. Okay, I like that. I'd like something across there. Wood, I like. Like a little row of dighty bones. I think so. Kind of plop those there and it does kind of help to weight it down a little bit yeah one thing I'm kind of enjoying is I feel like I'm kind of out of my normal swing and so kind of coming up with a little bit different twist on things I feel like today okay There's that one, and then it has this little lady on the back. That's fun. Okay, one more. So, I don't know. We might get one more started, even. Okay. Um, and this one kind of has the fun of that. Hmm. I'm feeling... I mean, there's going to be like something in there, right? So we can do whatever. Hmm, no, I was kind of feeling like I'd like like a little piece of washi tape or something. I like that across there a lot. And maybe we'll put like a little piece of Tim Holtz washi tape across this. I don't know, these um, kind of tan checks just kind of ask for Tim Holtz to me. So. All right, so there's that. Uh, let me just grab something. Looking at my Timmy tape here. Here's one that's got a bit of red on it, which might be kind of nice. Because I, again, I've got a little red on the check. This is called, this one, Remnants. Batim. And I like that this is kind of skinny. 
I might make it skinnier though. Okay, I'm going to make it skinnier. Okay, let me give this a little extra. in the middle okay I'm really liking that I, and I think we'll I think we'll put a tab on this one again because this is this is kind of funky how it's doing that but okay let's put a tab on that bad boy and call that decorated I'm gonna go once again kind of with the Tim Holtz tabs Mm, that's not bad. I think I'll just go with it. You know, if it's not bad and it kind of strikes you as good, seems no reason to keep trying. Okay, so let's see. There's a green check here that I kind of like to try, and I think we have time. So we'll just get this on there. I forgot to... Totally forgot to um, distress it, but we'll do the top of it or something. I'm going to put this one over here because there's. Then I'm not covering up the date. Like so. And then I can still get most of it. Okay. Oh, I made it right side up even. Look at me. Okay, so there's that one. So we have four done. Let's try and do the green one and then just for fun we'll have... Okay, this is on... Um, this is on a... I'm gonna do one where it's down lower. I'm kind of wondering about that, um, what would you say, the printed or patterned, patterned vellum for this one. Can't believe how quick inking goes when you have a good pad. Wow. Okay. Oops, the side. State Cafe in Butte, Montana. I love it when I find things like this in the antique store. <laughs> I get pretty tickled. I have a whole set that I need to put in my Etsy, and I was thinking of doing it before this project, but did not get it done, what with being on the vacay and all. Oh yeah, that'll be neat on this. Okay, cool. Um, let's just measure it. Got to remember all the, all the things we need to do, huh? Right there. Just do one more. Okay. This directionalist kind of weird to try and do so you almost have to do it in a couple steps I feel like so we'll go here maybe right about there 
Excuse me, my nose is itching. Gonna kiss a fool. Mike, where are ya? <laughs> was kind of fun on this trip there were so many references to my mom it was just and that was one of her things if your nose itched it meant you were going to kiss a fool I think I'm gonna go. and uh yeah we I mean starting from the time we left the um the time we left the driveway because I said we're off like a dirty shirt my mom always said that when we went on trips, every single time, <laughs> without fail. And uh, kids were laughing at that. And then it's like she just kept coming up through the whole trip. And I kind of loved it because it was like, kind of felt like she was there watching over us, you know. It was pretty cool. I like how this has the writing on it. That'll be neat down in that corner, I think. Might not be a whole lot of um, decorating to this one. I don't know. So these, I feel like, go pretty fast. So yeah, tomorrow we'll do Scrappy Saturday, and then I have to get Rachel's next week that I missed done which is working with these checks too so I don't know if I can get the digital done that I want to but I'll try okay ooh that is pretty isn't that cool that looks good I like that. Okay. Got a little thumbprint there. There you go. Okay. That's really pretty. I mean, we could put a little something in that corner, and that might just be all we need. Like a little, a little I don't know what. I don't know. What do I have in here? I mean, you could just put a label there, I suppose. near you. Nope, too small. These are from Chris O Design. Mm, I don't know. Did I? That's not it. That's not it. Whoopsie. That's a bunch of Nancy's fancies flying all over the place. I don't know that I want a word necessarily. Let me just look at this for a second. Hmm. It's not bad, but I need a word that makes sense to me, and I just don't think for this piece, that does. So, okay. Oh, uh, butterfly maybe? A small one? A smallish one? Thought I had. Don't I have some green ones somewhere? Maybe not. okay it does not rock my world so let's see what about this one? Oh, sorry guys I'm trying to get down in there with it don't bl too blendy Maybe the but maybe a butterfly isn't the thing. I don't know. Ooh, now I like that with the black and the green. Okay, let's do that. 
I might put a little book page behind him just to pop him up a little bit too. Um, don't really want a tab on there, but I'm kind of feeling like I want something, so we'll have to figure that out, what it is we want. This is a heavier kind of a chipboard thing, so... What if I put that on like a tab? Kind of like that. And then maybe put something there. I'm going to do that just for fun. And then, but then what? Oh, I know. How about, like, well, I have a whole bunch in here. Let's use these. What about, like, one of these? Oh, I like that. Okay. Well, this one came together pretty quick, like. Like that. Yep. Okay. All right. So, kind of like that. All right. Well, that was fun. How are we doing time wise? I'll check here. Oh gosh, I'm over. I'm sorry, guys. Let me give you a quick flip. Okay, so there's this one. That's the back. This one. We just did. That's the back. This one. That's the back. This one. That's the back. And this one. That's the back. I could put something on there. I think I'm going to put a flower or something on there. Yep. I'm going to decorate that up a little bit. But other than that, we're done. So thanks so much, everybody, for watching. Have a grateful day, and we'll just see you in the next video. Bye-bye.